All right, so what we have here is the upright base, the double base, if you will. Um, and we have our tapes lined up here. First tape, second, third, and fourth tape. There are gonna be our guides to show us where to place our fingers and what position. First of all, we have to identify what pitches we have for the open strings when you pluck them by themselves. And I've just tuned this bass, so hopefully it sounds good. The lowest string to the far right, if you're facing it the same way that I am, is E. Then we have A, D, and G. And the cool thing on this video, you can kind of see it vibrate when you're plucking it. E. A, D, and G. We're gonna talk about playing in half position. Half position means that our hand is not gonna be over the first two tapes. This is what we normally call first position. We learned this in class already. So half position, we're gonna have our hand actually first finger between the first tape and the nut. Now, first of all, we gotta make sure we have this nice hamburger shape and that our middle finger and our thumb are gonna be pretty much behind each other on the neck of the bass back here. Half position will actually be up here where our middle finger is gonna land on the first tape and our thumb on the first tape and everything else in between. We're gonna start with our E string and play all the half positions on the E string real quick and A, D, and G. Here in half position, open E, one F, two F sharp, and then four G. Now let's go to A, one A sharp, B flat, two fingers B, then four fingers C. Let's go to the D string, open D, one D sharp E flat, two E, and then four F natural, or just F. Let me go to open G, half position, First finger, G sharp, A flat. I don't know if you guys started to see a pattern here. Second finger is A, and then fourth finger, A sharp, B flat. Now here's the first position fingerings. Half position to first, to second half position, and then third. Let's go to E string, and we're gonna show you what each position looks like and how we use our fingerings for that. So here's open E on the E string. I'm gonna start in half position, first finger, F. Remember that, then two fingers, F sharp, G flat. Then we have Now let's go to first position. We're gonna shift our hand up, moving our thumb along with our middle finger so that way everything lines up together. We're not doing this reach around, which is called pivoting, uh, which we'll talk about in just a moment, actually. We have open E, and then we can do what's called extended one, where we pivot, staying in first position, but reaching with our first finger. Notice my thumb is still behind the two tapes for our first position. Then we're gonna creep our hand back to normal. First finger now, F sharp, G flat. Then two fingers, G. Then four fingers, G sharp, A flat. Okay? And then of course, you can also do another pivot or extended four where you go to A. All in first position. And you could have done that in half position as well, but we don't have any extended ones. In extended four, we could just slide anyways. But if you're in half position, you could slide up to A flat, G sharp if you wanted to. Let's go now to second half position. Second half position right here on the G sharp. We're gonna start with first finger on the second tape this time, which is G sharp, A flat. Second finger, A. Then fourth finger, A sharp, B flat. And then you can do extended four and reach down if you want to. It's not as comfortable because the neck gets wider. And this is gonna be just B. And then let's go to third position. Open E. One A, which is this new tape here. Notice my thumb is between these two tapes now. Then we have A sharp, B flat, and then four fingers B. And if you wanted to, extended C natural or just C. Okay, now this is all for the E string. Now I'm gonna go a little bit quicker since you know what each position is. Um, and I'm gonna include now the second position. So I'm gonna go half, first, second, second half position, and third. Okay, let's try it. Here's A string, half position, first finger, A sharp, B flat, second finger, B, fourth finger, C. Extended four can be C sharp, D flat, 
Okay, that's our half position. Let's go to first position. Now it lines up with our first finger on the tape, fourth finger on the next tape, between, open A, extended one, which is X1, right? A sharp, B flat, regular one, B, two, C, four, C sharp, D flat, extended four, we have D. Second position, now this is where our first finger lands in between. I think you see a pattern here. And our thumb is actually gonna be on the second tape. Open A, extended one, which is B. Regular one is gonna be C. Second finger is C sharp, D flat. Then four fingers, D. Then extended four is D sharp, E flat. Remember, when you do extensions, we're just pivoting from the same position to reach farther. Let's go to second half position. First finger on the tape now. Thumb is behind this black tape here, where our second finger would be. And notice my elbow is out here. It's not behind here, relax, or up here. It's nice and straight with a straight wrist. Open A. First finger, C sharp, D flat. Second finger, D. Fourth finger, D sharp, E flat. Extended for E. Third position. Open A, one, D, two, D sharp, E flat, four, E. And if you notice, this fourth finger in third position is just the finger one in the next string up. Same exact pitch, just a different spot to play it. Open D, let's go to the D string, half position, D sharp, E flat, E, F, extended, F sharp, G flat, first position. Or open D, extended one, D sharp, E flat, one E, two F, four, F sharp, G flat, extended four, G. Also open G, by the way, if you notice that too in first position, extended is open. Second position, we have open D, extended one is E, one is F, two is F sharp G flat, four is G, extended four is G sharp A flat. Second half position we have open. Extended one is F, one is F sharp G flat, two is G, four is G sharp A flat, extended four is A. Third position, open. Extended one is F sharp G flat, one is G, two is G sharp A flat, and then four is A. Then we go to open G, half position, open G, one, G sharp A flat, two, A, four, A sharp B flat, extended four is B. Go to first position, open G, extended one, G sharp A flat, one is A, two is A sharp B flat, four is B, extended four is C. Okay, let's go to second position, open G, extended one, A, one, A sharp B flat, two B, four C, extended four, C sharp D flat. Second half position, open G, extended one is A sharp B flat, then we go to first finger B, second finger C, four fingers C sharp D flat, and then fourth finger extended is uh, D. Now we go to third position, something you know very well on the G string. Open G, extended one is gonna be B, regular one is C, two is C sharp D flat, four is that high D we normally play, and then extended is D sharp, E flat. And those are the four positions that we play. Oh wait, half, first, second, second half, and third. Five positions that we can play on the bass, at least in this range right here. And then these extended fours in third position. Enjoy.